Hi Aries, welcome to my channel, Baddest and Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a look into your romantic love life for the week of October 2024. I'm going to pull an eight-card spread, see who you may be dealing with this week with romantic intentions. Whether it's somebody new or someone that you already know, I'm just going to dive into your situation and see who you're connecting to this week and see how things will play out. Just please keep an open mind, Aries, that I do get very nosy in my readings. I don't sugarcoat my messages and I do not hold back. So if you hear something and it does not feel like it's meant for you, just let it go. Never take what does not resonate. Never give your power away to tarot cards. You're never tied and bound to any outcome in any reading and you're always in control over your choices. So with that said, I'm going to get into it. All right, please tap into the zodiac sign of Aries today. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. What do they have going on this week? Two more shuffles, eight card spread. One and two. Let's rock this and deck for my awesome Aries. All right, so the person coming towards you this week, how do they feel about you right now? We have the eight of wands. This is fire energy coming through. Their intentions this week. The three of pentacles, earth energy. Could be someone new that you're getting to know, some flirtiness happening. Their behavior with you this week. The Knight of Pentacles, this is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Your feelings towards this person this week. The Hierophant, major for Taurus. What could be challenging you this week? The Star, major for Aquarius. And your potential weekly outcome, Aries. The Ten of Pentacles, that looks pretty freaking good. This looks like a good week for you with somebody. You're getting along with somebody and something is gaining momentum, it looks like. Um, what's your advice? The King of Pentacles, Earth Energy. Come on, camera, focus in on the details, please. Thank you. And the overall energy that's influencing you the most this week, Aries? Two of Wands, Aries Energy. Now, with the Two of Wands being your overall influence this week, this is showing me you popping a squat and thinking about what your next step should be in regards to someone you may be connecting to this week. Um, the Two of Wands is my talking stage card at times, but it doesn't have to be that you're at the talking stage with somebody. It's just it's talking about forward planning. All right, you're contemplating this week on what step needs to be taken in regards to this person and you. Okay, the two of wands is you feeling like something needs to happen in order for you to know exactly what you're getting yourself into with someone. Okay, influencing this is the high priestess, Pisces energy, and the eight of swords. So I have an Aries that feels it intuitively that something is about to happen with you and another person, but there's times where you get in your head and question your intuitive downloads or your intuitive messages that you get from your higher self and your spirit team throughout the day to day. Okay, the Eight of Swords is a mental prison we put ourselves through when we feel like we are fishing for answers and just telling ourselves what we want to hear or when we do get hit answers that we're supposed to hear, we question the authenticity of those two. Like, ah, oh, that's just my imagination. You know, it's definitely a very confusing time to be in when the Eight of Swords shows up. For others, you may feel like your plans with this person is very restricted somehow, whether it's because of distance or too many factors in the way, we will investigate, okay? But I am seeing the potential of growth for you, Aries, whether with this person or something else going on in your life that's getting ready to take form for you, okay? So, with this person's feelings towards you being the Eight of Wands and their intentions being the Three of Pentacles, there's somebody this week that you're gonna be communicating with and it feels very playful. It feels like someone's wanting to be on the same page as you and start making plans with you, whether for the weekend or for some sort of travel. This person's getting excited for something that you guys are trying to create with each other. They're on board. Whoever this person is, they've maybe set their sights on you already and have been making plans to come towards you for some time now. Whether you've known this person for a few weeks, few months, few years, this person has had their eye on you and has been seriously interested in mapping out a future with you. All right. I'm definitely getting that you and somebody are in that building stage where you don't really see just yet where the relationship is going, but you guys are w willing to add brick by brick by brick. 
Now with the star being in the challenge position, I am getting where someone might get a little bit worried that they're in a state of false hope or getting their hopes up or just lacking faith that something is going to manifest in the way that someone desires. Okay, try not to put too much expectations on the future. That's when we get let down. All right, I'm strongly getting someone needing to just not be too hard on themselves. With the hair font as your feelings, Aries, you are telling me that someone here shares the same values as you, same beliefs as you, and you really want to deepen this bond that you have with this person and take it to some place higher level with that hair font. For some of you, you may feel like you and someone are being tested by the universe. Okay, because sometimes the hair font can come in as a learning experience, a you know, experience to really learn our, about ourselves and to grow, and then that's it. And then bon voyage with the connection, all right? So you are feeling like there's something that's happening between the two of you that's allowing you to learn something very important about yourself. So at the end of the day, whether this works out or not, I feel like I have an Aries that will never be the same person as they were before this person came into your life. I feel like you're gonna gain something valuable off of this experience. Um, so I feel like, I feel like something's happening because with your outcome being a Ten of Pentacles, for some of you, you guys are getting into a serious relationship with this person. Because when the Ten of Pentacles shows up as the weekly outcome, that's, that's sealing the deal. That's, all right, I guess we're in this to win this. I think we're, we're together now. We're exclusive with one another. Or there's talks about marriage. There's talks about moving in with each other. There's talks about the future. The Ten of Pentacles is the real deal. You can't get any better than the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, yeah, you could with the Ten of Cups with it, but Ten of Pentacles is more practical. Ten of Pentacles is knowing where you are laying your head each night and who's laying beside it, you know, working together as a team to build a future with someone, raising a family with someone, paying your bills with someone. That's the Ten of Pentacles. And with your advice being the, the king of pentacles and this person's behavior being the knight of pentacles, it's looking like the universe is giving you the green light to go towards this person. They've got good intentions is what it's showing me. Wow, Aries, this is like the nicest reading I think I've had in a very long time. I've been getting some doozies lately, but this feels very normal. This feels very like you and someone have like a comfy thing going on here. All right, so hopefully the digging I do doesn't discover something. So let's dive into this person's feelings. Then I open up to the Emperor and the Two of Wands. And remember, you're in the Two of Wands energy with your overall energy. Okay, the Two of Wands to the Emperor, this is someone that's like really standing in front of a door and wondering, do I walk through this door? Do I shut this door and just forget the door even exists? You know, somebody here is taking you very seriously, Aries. And I feel like you are doing the same. But what's going on with the star card? Why is this here in the challenge position? Someone's lacking faith. Someone's lacking faith that what they're feeling inside is what they're feeling or what they're building is what they're building. It's that understandable worry of what if this is all for nothing? What if this person's going to blow smoke in my face? What if I find out that this person is just wearing a, a cheap mask? You know, there's all those fears. <sighs> just got goosebumps when I said that. Clarify the Eight of Wands, please. The Page of Cups, Two of Wands again, jeez. And the Ace of Cups, and then I see the Emperor again, and the Queen of Pentacles, and then the Star. Okay, so we already have the King of Pentacles right here. And the Queen of Pentacles is an ideal match for the King of Pentacles. And it's the two people that you see in the Ten of Pentacles family portrait. Not only is someone considering a relationship, but when the Emperor shows up, that's considering marriage. Um, I am seeing someone wanting to take baby steps though with that page of cups or there's a child involved for somebody here. Someone may be a single mom, single dad, trying to, to, to find a nice person to be a good addition to a pre-existing family. All right. That's not going to be for everybody. Or there's talks about children. Hmm. All right. So this person's clearly into you. Let me just get more insight onto you, Aries. And then I open up to the Four of Wands and the World card.
there's something going on here, Aries, where you still are wanting to do your due diligence and dive deep to the situation. Because even though this person's coming towards you, saying all the right things, doing all the right things, there's still that, that lingering suspicion that this is not who I think they are. What if, you know, a mask comes falling off and I, I get left really like stuck on stupid. I don't want to regret my decisions. You know, there is no wrong decisions. There's just pivots in life. We all have that time where we're like, oh crap, I wish I would have went the other option or I wish I would have made the other decision. But then a few years into that, you look back and think, that was actually the right decision for me because look where I'm at now. So I feel like there's no wrong decisions. I feel like there's all just curves and pivots to our life path, you know, where we get to learn more about ourselves and understand ourselves a little bit. Why the hair font for how Aries feels? Nine of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. The Nine of Pentacles, that's you telling me that you are a free thinker, you are independent. You are someone that doesn't need other people to tell you what to do. You don't even need this friggin' reading. This is just entertainment for you at this point. You already have the intuitive abilities to know what you need to do, but some of you do at times do question it, okay? We, we all have that moment where we question our, our intuitive abilities, but at the end of the day, you, you come to trusting yourself again, okay? Um, I feel like some of this is just reassurance. With the Wheel of Fortune being here, the Wheel of Fortune talks about big monumental changes. Like, if I were to get the Wheel of Fortune in a reading, that tells me that the person I'm reading for's life may be changing in a very massive way. Where they're going from maybe being not a mom to now having children. Being single to then being married. Being poor to maybe landing a job that makes them rich. Going from living in a small town to moving to a big city. It's always connected to monumental changes. Changes that we have to get a little uncomfortable to adapt to. All right, anytime this card shows up, I know that someone's going to be getting a little uncomfortable first because it's when we go through changes is when we go through the most uncomfortable experiences, but it's our energy being adapted to our new existence. You know, you rip a tree out of the ground and honestly, the roots are going to be shocked. Then when you replant it somewhere else, it's going to take time to adapt and get settled in and then it enjoys its new location, but it needed to go through that traumatic, shocking experience to get elevated to a new location that's better for them. All right, I hope I'm making sense here. Oh wait, I told myself I was not gonna question myself anymore. All right. Let's get this person's intentions. Regardless of what happens with you and this person, Aries, this is not a waste of time. There's something you're gaining out of this experience. Even if you walk away single next week, you're gaining something from this experience. Whether to trust yourself a bit more, like I just had to stop myself from questioning my own abilities and just say, you know what, start trusting yourself. Or something else, you're going to gain something from it. Why the Three of Pentacles? We got to trust ourselves more. The World card and then the Magician and the Three of Pentacles again. Now, the world card talks about milestones, leveling up, going through a big change in one's life. And it's change that is connected to what this person's been manifesting for themselves all along. Whether it was directed at you or just directed at someone being brought to them who is just like them and gets them and wants to grow with them. This person's been manifesting a change in their life. And the universe feels like you would be an ideal pick for that. Like, all right, Aries, this person's been manifesting a partner in their life. I feel like you fit the bill. You know, let's, you know, get you guys to meet each other. Things like that. It's like asking the universe for that, that companionship, but not having a face to it, not having a name to it. Just that feeling, wanting to have that feeling of having a companionship. You tell the universe what feeling you want to have, and they'll find the person that wants that same feeling. That's how manifestation works. You fit the vibe, you fit the vibe, all right, you guys meet. You know, you know how to manifest what you want in your life, you've gotta be at the vibration of it. 
you got to send out that vibration and they will find you a match to that vibration you want to find a gym partner you put that vibe out there <laughs> you want a gym partner and they're going to find someone who wants a gym buddy too you know it's all about vibration so let's take a look at why the star is in the challenge position now when the star card shows up it tells me that a tower was here beforehand because the star card comes out after the tower card so someone went through a tower not too long ago and it still shook them up a little bit someone still got a little ptsd from a tower trying to collect their bearings you know whether that was a breakup someone went through not too long ago a divorce or went through a betrayal it doesn't have to be romantic related someone here went through a tower before this star card showed up and someone's still like in shock from that 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 change like i mentioned with the tree even if the tower was meant to happen it's still an uncomfortable experience to go through but it it needs to happen at times i can't tell you how many times i've gone through traumatic experiences and then look back a few years later and i'm like i'm so glad that happened i see why it had to happen why the star the six of wands now when the six of wands shows up in the challenge position it talks about fear of being embarrassed fear of getting one's hopes you know up fear of finally letting your guard down and being like all right i'm going to be excited for once i'm going to enjoy this experience and be excited that it's it's happening five of pentacles with the six of wands is telling me that someone's fearing that once they go all in with someone that's when the abandonment starts to happen all right, when I, once I tell my person I love them, that's when they're going to start treating me badly. Once I tell my person I love them, that's when they're going to start acting distant. Once I tell my person I love them, that's when they're going to ban me for somebody else. Once I, once I, once I. All right. Someone feels like every time that they say I love you to someone, that's when they, they start to act a little funny and abandon the situation. Isn't there like a country song about that? Hold on. I don't listen to country too much, but I remember hearing a country song that sounds like that. It was about a couple weeks ago. Um, everyone I love leaves. Everyone I tell I love you leaves. So she doesn't tell people I love you because she fears that every time she says I love you, that's when they leave. Yeah, there's a country song. That might actually help you out, Aries. Everyone I love leaves. Hold on. I feel like the song is important for you guys. Country song, Everyone I Love Leaves. That song's popping in my head. Um, Cassidy Pope, People That I Love Leave. That's the song. Cassidy Pope, People That I Love Leave. Watch that video or listen to that song and I just got goosebumps when I said that. That song might mean something to you, Aries or Crosswatcher. Everyone that I love leaves. So it's the energy of loving someone, but not wanting to say those magical words in fear of that's when someone gets a little too big for their bridges and starts thinking that they they can start acting up or, or it might scare someone off. It's one of those, okay? Or Aries, this might be your person. It's like the moment I let someone know how much I care about them, that's when they start acting funny. That's when they start acting like, oh, so Aries loves me like that. I don't have to impress anymore. I don't have to do a little extra stuff anymore. I can, I can relax and sit easy knowing that Aries, got, Aries loves me like that. Or they start thinking, oh, if I can bag Aries, that means I can bag someone better, you know, and starts acting even more funnier. It's that fear that's coming into someone's head. Doesn't have to be real though. It doesn't have to be exactly what this person wants to do to you or will do to you or has ever done to you. It's a fear. It's a fear of if I say I love you, that's when this person's going to act stupid. Five of Pentacles, leaving someone out in the cold. Seven of Swords, hanged man, judgment. Yeah. It's like you're scared to have a conversation with this person, Aries, because then it gives away your hand a little bit, it gives away your your you know reveals all your cards on the table it's really exposing you to being very very vulnerable 
for some of you, someone's trying to get someone back into their life, like a reconciliation, but afraid to be the one that breaks the silence first with that high priestess eight of swords. And whoever breaks the silence first has a little bit less power because they're putting it out there that they're, they were missing somebody, needing somebody. I don't know. Knight of Pentacles is this person's behavior. For some of you, this situation already happened months ago, and now we're at fast forward into a few weeks, few months, where now the fear is starting to settle in because something felt really too good to be true in the beginning. I mean, I was shocked at the beginning of this reading. I'm like, whoa, this is the nicest reading I've done in a while. The last few readings I've had had nothing but the devil, five of swords, why the Knight of Pentacles? The strength card and the Three of Cups. So this person wants to date you. I feel like this person's got a lot of um, confidence in the direction that they're taking this situation. Okay, they're coming in wanting to be supportive. But you still, you never know who you're dealing with. You never really fully know who you're laying in bed with. You might know them 99.9, .9, but what about that 0.1% where once you see that part of them, it's like, whoa. Why the Ten of Pentacles? I don't think anyone can hide who they truly are in the year 2024, to be honest. 2024 has clearly been the year of masks coming off or being ripped off, you know? So clarifying the Ten of Pentacles, I got the Lover's card. All right. So Aries, I feel like if you and someone right now are not in a good space and are not growing your relationship, then just focus on you because this is showing me that there is someone energetically lining up for meeting you. Again, I repeat, if you do not have someone that matches this description in this reading today, if you don't have someone that's making plans for a future with you, what you're telling the universe about what you want for a companion, they're listening and they're going to find an ideal match for you. So don't waste your time with anyone that's disrespecting you. Don't waste your time with anyone that's leaving you on red or treating you like an option or taking their time to even respond to a text, all right? If you don't already have this, walk away and let the universe deliver you your ideal person, all right? But if you already have someone that matches this description, try your best to not be too hypervigilant for something to mess up because energy goes where your thoughts flow, okay? Clarify that King of Pentacles, the Death card, and this, the Knight of Wands. Someone is ending their player ways. And it kind of feels like it's you, Aries. <laughs> you don't have to be like, like playing around for this to come up. Because with your advice being the King of Pentacles, they're pretty much saying it's time to settle down. Settle down and maybe build a family with someone or build a life with someone. Maybe you've been a little bit, um, you know, flirty just wanting to get to know a bunch of people and it shows me that part of you might be coming to an end and you're taking someone else more seriously or that's flip for somebody someone saying goodbye to their player ways to say hello to some china and some drapes and you know some six o'clock dinner time you know someone becoming more of a family family person all right let's clarify the two of wands i'll get the hidden message in a second the Fool, Major kind of for Aries. So clarifying the Two of Wands, this is you at a crossroads about which direction to take your life next. Do you stay single and solo or do you link up with someone? I feel like you're, you're, you're really trying to figure out if this is someone that's worth you know, committing to, if this person deserves you. And I also see the Five of Cups and the Hierophant telling me that you have had your fair share of trauma and pain in your life. We all have had trauma. It's what we learn from it that matters, I feel. Every, every bad experience and good experience is an experience to learn more about ourselves and to grow and to you know, understand ourselves better, okay? We gotta take our power back from painful situations. You know that saying, take lemons and make lemonade. It's the same thing. Take a negative situation and manifest it into a positive or transmute it into a positive to where you're like, yeah, I wanted that to happen actually because it helped me get to here. All right, so for zodiac signs that came in the reading, 
even though I don't feel like it really matters, but I know you guys like to hear the zodiac signs. I see Scorpio, Gemini, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Aquarius, um, Pisces. Who else? Uh, that's the main ones. It could be any zodiac sign though, okay? And if you haven't already, check out your October monthly Aries. Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you would like to book a private reading, ooh, you got a bonus card. The link to my website is in the description box below of every video, BadisonIntuitiveTarot.com. That's two Ds, not one for Badison. And every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I go live with the All Signs. There are feelings for you spread where I do the same spread as this, but I show my face so you can get to know me a little bit better than just seeing my hands. Um, I will link in the description box below this video, the most recent one I did, because it's good for the week. All you have to do is click on that All Signs link in the description box and go to the Aries timestamp. All right, I love you, but I'm afraid to reach out and have you reject me. I feel like I don't know who I am anymore. The distance between us is killing me. I long to hear your beautiful smile again. I still feel deeply connected to you, but I, I won't admit it. I know we've been together in past lives. I recognize you. You were never a stranger to me. All right, Aries Poo, I love you. I hope this helped. I'll check back with you in a few days for your next weekly update. Till then, smile until your cheeks hurt. Um, take good care of you. Do what's best for yourself. All right, later, Gators. Namaste.